Hello and welcome to pdfsupply.com. Today we're going to be testing an RX3i 16 point discrete input. Okay, I have a IC694 MDL240 and uh, this is a 120 volt AC discrete input card. As I said, it's 16 points. A couple things that you're going to need for this procedure is uh, I have my uh, 120 volt AC power supply and what I've done is I've put my neutral lead which is what you have to do a neutral lead on terminal number 19 so that's the bottom left terminal okay make sure that's attached I'd recommend that you put a piece of electrical tape over the lead over the, the terminal this way you can't inadvertently uh, touch it with the probe then the probe end of course is attached to my hot lead and I'm going to use the hot lead to touch every single channel, 16 channels, okay? And they're located both on the left and right hand side if you look at the wiring diagram. So the first thing that we want to do, once it's connected and, and everything's powered up, and we're ready to go, we're going to go into Prophecy Machine Edition. I have a blank file for a, a CPU 320, which is the processor I'll be using, and I'm going to click the lightning bolt icon on the left hand side if you guys are following my arrow to connect up to the processor then I'm going to hit the green handprint to toggle into online mode now if you notice below follow my arrow to where I'm going where it says programmer mode stop faulted uh, stop means that the outputs have been stopped and faulted means that the processor was doing a different function before I've asked it to test an MDL240 so that's why it's faulted and the configuration is not equal Again, same thing. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is my power supply, PSA040, is using slots 0 and 1. And my processor, the CPU320, is using slots 2 and 3. And my next available slot is number 4. So I'm going to right-click on that and hit Add Module, or you could double-click on it. Discrete Input. And as we described, it's an IC694 MDL340. Uh, excuse me, 240. Now there's no settings or anything, any editable values per se. What you should notice is that the reference address when we do start probing each terminal where to find the uh, bits being toggled from a zero to a one is percent I for input, zero, 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 one. All right, and that'll become important when I open up the, the reference table in a moment. So first thing we have to do is download this, but before we do, we still have the issue that it's in, in uh, stop faulted configuration not equal mode. So we're going to hit target, online commands, clear, and we want to clear controller and I.O. fault table. Okay, there's going to be uh, faults related to the fact that the processor was doing something else before. There's no need to uh, erase any other you know permanent flash memory or anything like that. So just those two selections, hit download and run which is the icon I'm hovering over right now that has the download information with a run button in one. First thing it's going to ask us when we're downloading is uh, what do we want to download to the processor. In this particular case, hardware configuration and motion and logic. Select OK. There's no need to write anything to permanent flash memory or anything like that for this sort of test. Again, the, the, the test is only on the MDL240. It's not on the processor or anything else or the capabilities of uh, holding or creating a program. So we just want to see the functioning capability of this to make sure it's a good working uh, input module. Okay. Once the download's complete, we're going to ask it to go into run mode. We're going to enable the outputs. Okay. Now, if you notice down below, we're in programmer mode still, but this run is enabled, meaning the outputs are enabled. Configuration and logic are both equal right now. So we're going to go to navigator bar, drop down to our default tables, and this is input, discrete input. And right away, you'll notice the reference addresses on the right hand side, and then the bits that can be toggled from 0 to 1. And if you hover over the top right hand corner, you'll notice that's our starting point. 
percent input 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's where we're going to look for our first bit to be toggled on. Now I'm going to power up my 120 volt power supply and I'm going to show you guys as I probe each channel they'll turn to a 1. You just make sure that you hold the probe on there long enough for a value to appear in your reference table. Okay, so that's all the test. That's as long as we see all 16 inputs activate in the input reference table, um, then it's a good working unit. It is that simple. Okay. So if for any reason that you guys uh, probe any of the channels and you don't get a response or if there's a group of channels that don't give you a response or all 16 channels don't give you a response that means that there's something catastrophically wrong with the input card and it needs repair or replacement. Uh, we do repair uh, the MDL240 module here at PDF Supply. We offer exchange programs, new and remanufactured products. So if that's something that interests you or you need, please see us at pdfsupply.com. Thank you.